Welcome back to Suns Valley. The Suns have one more roster spot available after signing free agent Eric Gordon last night. Huge signing for the Suns. We covered that already. And Sunder, there's a lot of available free agents left over that I'm somewhat interested in. Let's try to narrow them down. First, hit the like button for us. It always really helps us out. And tell us in the comments, is there a free agent that you think the Suns should be looking at specifically? The first name that comes to mind that really jumps out to me, Sundo, is Tory Craig. Of course it's Tory. Craig. He played terrific in the playoffs for the Suns. He's a good defender. He's not great. We figured that out, but he is good. And he's another guy that I trust to hit open threes for the most part in the corner. I don't think that asking him to go from 5 million plus down to 2 million is the worst thing in the world, especially when he can stay with Phoenix, a franchise and players that love him. And it can be a prove it year. Have one year, potentially win a title, definitely make a title run. And then next season, and go get a little bit better payday if it's available. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, he could do that. I just don't think at the age of 33, he's going to be looking for what you just said up prove it deal i think he's proven enough at his age i think you know at this age he's going to be looking for contenders you know what i mean or, or or teams that are going to be competing in my opinion that's what i think he'll be looking for you know in that same vein yeah would love to see him back like you mentioned before dude did show up for us in the playoffs in a big way during that clipper series we've always been able to depend on him solid rebounder um good defender and yeah for the most part he hits down the majority of his shots so he's always been uh, a player that we could rely upon so i, I wouldn't bet a if he came back but another wing that i like and that i know you like is your boy kelly Oubre. what do you think about him talk about deserving more or not being in the position to be looking for a minimum contract but of course i would die happy if kelly Oubre makes his way back to the sun to set especially this year i mean talk about supercharging your chances of winning a title but like i said i think he deserves more money than the minimum and should be able to get it somewhere so this would have to be a situation where he's like i want to win a title i want to go back to the valley even if it's just for one incredible fun year they love me i loved them let me just go take a little bit less money for one year and i'll get pay paid the next season you should be right about that okay you should be right that he should be able to get more money but we've talked about this on our show i'm in the belief that not a lot of players in the kelly Ubre realm are going to get a lot of money i I think the market's going to shape up and they're going to have to start settling for some of these minimum contracts, which, you know, makes me believe that Kelly Oubre is a possibility. I mean, you go look down the list of these wings. Uh, most of these guys are basically the same kind of player. So, I mean, the market's going to basically fade out on these guys. They're going to eventually have to take something. And so it just depends on who's going to be the last ones left, right? If Oubre is one of the last ones left, shoot, you think he's got a choice? I don't think he does either. I think he'll go somewhere on the minimum, especially a winner. Like you said, come on home, Oubre. You know you want to come. I'm here we need you here let's go new ownership not the same cheapskate that was here last time that didn't want to pay him we turned him into chris paul and chris paul into bradley beal he's got to understand and i think he played with bradley beal for a little while when he was in washington so maybe they have a friendship maybe bradley can do a little talking to tsunami poppy that would break some hearts other fans of other teams will be so mad at the suns if they snag kelly Oubre on top of the hall they already have Who's next? I'm loving this. Let's go with point guards, Gabe. Let's just go. Let's just go down there because we did talk about this earlier. We only have two true point guards on the roster. So let me just start you out with, you know, I can't never not talk about him on this channel. Aaron Holiday. Would you hmm. like to see an Aaron Holiday back on the roster? I wouldn't be mad, but considering we have one spot, I'm hoping we can get something better than Aaron Holiday. Fair enough. Maybe something better like, I don't know, a John Wall, Kimba Walker, maybe one of those two. Do you do you consider them better? I literally don't. I think both of those players are, be <laughs> are beyond washed. Washed, bro. I mean, look at this point guard situation, though, man. Like, if you look at this list, Goran Dragic. I know how you feel about him, but I'm. I, it'd be a hard pass for me. DJ Augustine, um, George Hill. We're talking over the hill, no pun intended, type players. You know what I mean? The youngest person on this list is David Duke, uh, Kennedy Chandler, who I don't even know anything about Kennedy Chandler, to be honest with you. Never heard of him. And Frank Nilakina. Do you now want Frank Nilakina at the point guard? 
That's intriguing. Um, he played his ass off against the Suns, so I'm not opposed to that. Point guard is our biggest need, I would say. What about Corey Joseph? That's a name I, that I don't know, man. I'm, I'm not Luke, like I'm lukewarm. I'm not super on big it. on it. Yeah, I'm the same way. I'm lukewarm on it as well. I'm not super big on any of these names. Here, here's the deal. If we do get another point guard on the roster, I think it's going to be in the realm of Saban Lee, of someone who's been here, or it's going to be, in my opinion, one of these guards that we just got in the summer league just a development type piece like a marcus Carr, you know what i mean from texas that's what i think may end up happening because this point guard market is slim pickings bro and i mean i don't like hardly any any of these names on this list it's bare bones i want goran Dragic. i knew you're going to say I that i want him i, I want you're him going to say that i, I want knew him you would. i knew you would you just can't help yourself and mm -hmm. i will continually say no to goran Dragic. but hey i mean if we get him once again it'll be like eric gordon all right whatever we got him it's fine i'll deal with it but i would prefer them to go young at getting the third slot for point guard eric gordon has way more in the tank than goran Dragic at this point I can at least admit that there's one more point guard though ish Smith mm. he, used, he was a son years ago it'd be the third ish in the Suns universe Wainwright ish Bia and <laughs> ish Smith ish Bia but once again dude's a journeyman dude is a exactly. professional he has a very specific skill set it's not going to work for everyone but I think it fits what the Suns need kind of like a campaign insurance which I've always said campaign is simply a more talented ish smith i mean then why get ish smith if we already have a more talented ish smith good point just my thoughts there once again this list is slim pickings if we're gonna go point guard for the last slot i'd much i would much rather it be a young player that you can get on a two-way like Saban lee or one of these summer league candidates that's just my opinion i'm looking at the center market gabe just in case i guess we can count dario sarge in this situation as one of the centers even though he's not really a center but we can count him as a center he can be a big man he can play small ball five if we need him to do you like dario i would die again happy if we were able to bring dario back dario is a point forward he plays a little bit like colin castleton he doesn't bring the mm. ball up as much but decision making passing on point he was becoming a sniper again when we got rid of him and let him go to okc i feel like he was shooting his best that i had seen him shoot since his injury also it keeps him away from from the Warriors, who I know have been rumored to be going after him. Bringing Dario into the Warriors, I don't want to oh, see man. that. Yeah, I don't want to see that either. He would be the exact type of big man or exact type of, like you said, point four that they would need. And that would just be so killer to have him on the Warriors. Like, first off, it would hurt me because, you know, I did like Dario, thought he was solid for us. But then to see him go to a team like that, that would fit his exact skill set perfectly. Oh my gosh, that would that would be real killer. Um, I got another name on this list for you. You. What about? I know you want to bring him back, Bismack Biombo. If the Suns end up needing a third center, I would love for it to be Bismack. The only okay. issue is they kind of went out and got a white Bismack because that's what Drew Eubanks is. Okay. For my money, Busy's a better rim protector. I, way better. But, but that's all Busy can do, though. Busy can't shoot. We've always exactly. talked about how his floaters have just been so bad. And I think that's one reason why he's not going to come back to this team. I think they're going to look for guys who can get buckets. And so, once again, I would like for them to go young here on this slide. If they go with a center, go young. And you already know who I'm going to say. My guy. If he can learn to shoot. Trey Jemison. I feel mm. like they need to go with somebody like that. That guy with that size, at, you know, being a young guy, let him be on the team, you know, learn, develop him, go with that route. I really do think that this last slot needs to be a young developmental player. We have plenty of depth. Okay. And I know that we want to go championship. I know we want to go championship or bust here, but we need to sort of try to find some gems here and there. Go the developmental route here with the slot. In that line of thinking, Baisley. Baisley's yeah, why out. not Baisley? He's out there still. We aren't going to yeah. end up paying him if we get him what he was making last season. If he gets down the line and realizes it's time to take a minimum or wants to come back to the Suns and continue on a minimum, that's a young option, developmental option that I'm interested in. But to take it back to Dario, just one second. Dario, okay. would, Dario would have to be 
same sort of thing as Kelly Oubre, just flat out willing to take a pay cut to go have a great season with the Suns and potentially win a title. So I just want to throw that disclaimer out there. Well, let me let me go back to your Darius Baisley point, because here's what I think. Yes, Darius Baisley would be, I think that would be great to have him on the team. He is a young option, but I feel like we already have another Darius Baisley on the team and an Isaiah Todd who we got in the trade with Bat Bradley Beal. So it would be kind of redundant to have Darius Baisley on the team. You know what I mean? So once again, like, like yes, we wanted a young developmental player here, in my opinion, but Darius Baisley seems kind of redundant when we already have an Isaiah Todd. I would, like I said, point guard, a center, something like that, because you know we're going to need some big men. We know that Frank Vogel is going to like big men in that way. So get one that you like that you can develop, in my opinion, or develop a point guard. Yeah, it looks like they're really going to be relying on point book and point Beal. Either way, thank you guys for hanging out with us. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.